What's going on guys? My name is Alex Hay um, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about zoology. As I stated before, my name is Alex for anyone who doesn't know me. Um, I am a student life vlogger here at Colorado State University. I wanted to take a little bit of time today, a little different video than what I usually do, to talk about uh, my major and what it is, what it looks like. So as I've stated in previous videos, I am from Chicago, I'm from the Midwest, and uh, whenever you tell anyone that you are studying zoology, the first thing you get. So you wanna work in zoo, so you're a zookeeper, a zoo man, you're a zoo man. And obviously that's not what it is. So zoology is basically just the study of animals. It's a very large umbrella major, kind of. I settled on zoology for a lot of reasons. When I would look up online, I would just look up best majors for animal lovers. A career with animals, what degree do you need? I DM'd wildlife photographers, animal behaviorists. I DM'd all of them on Instagram, emailed them. I said, hey, how do you get where you are? How do I do that? And, and most of them usually just said, zoology is a good place to start. Get a degree in something like zoology or wildlife biology, animal behavior, something like that. It's not a super common major at colleges, but it is a very good umbrella. Like I said, the umbrella major kind of thing. And also at the time, I was considered being an exotic veterinarian. Basically, it keeps your options open. It's a very wide degree. It's like getting a degree in biology, but you're more focused on animals. But when I was deciding colleges, I just knew one thing, that I just I, I needed to work with animals. That was what I was going to do well, with my life. Um, and that is kind of what led me to zoology. All right, so next, I want to talk about like what is zoology here at Colorado State University? What can you expect? What do you need to take? Um, to get that degree because when I was looking around at zoology, I knew what it was. I It was just hard to get a feel for what I'd be taking, what I'd be doing. There weren't a whole lot of videos online that just explained to me uh, how it differs from other things. Specifically at CSU, uh, I wanted to explain what you do and what you're going to be studying, what classes are going to look like. So I'm pulling up the course map. I'm going to put it right I'll put it right here. Uh, you can find it on the website, I'll link it below. And one hint is you can ca actually get credit for a lot of these classes in high school. You can look all the AP stuff up online, I'll leave a link below, but I will tell you which ones I got out of when I was going through it. So you can get out of Life 102 with a good AP, AP bio test score. And you can either go the BZ route or the life route. Um, BZ's botany and zoology, uh, it's that department. Um, I personally went the life route because I already, like I said, at the time, you did need Life 102. I already had half of that, so I only took Life 103. So the first couple years you are majoring in zoology, you're basically going to be taking the exact same courses biology majors take. You're going to take uh, cell bio, you're going to take uh, molecular general genetics, the general chemistry courses, that's 112, 111, 113, and 114. And those are two labs that are associated with that. I believe you can get out of one with a 5 on an AP chem uh, test. Then you're going to take either intro to organic chemistry or I think just regular organic chemistry and you have to take a lab with uh, both of them, I believe. I don't think there's any AP credit you can get out of this. This is a a 200 level course so AP credit kind of isn't really offered. Personally I enjoyed the class, it was a fun class even though I had to take it all online. <clears throat> Next is Biochem which I'm in now, uh, BC351. It's fun so far and it's not that bad and uh, that is another biology related class. Then you're gonna take Physics. I got out of Physics 121 with AP Physics 1 test. 122 I took last year and there's a lab with it. The professor that teaches uh, physics here is really cool. Pre-COVID he invites everyone to like his house at the end. The way they teach physics here is really cool. The teacher, professor, he connects everything to biological systems. It's physics for biologists or zoologists um, because biology lines up so closely the first couple years with the zoology degree. And then you're going to need calculus, you're going to need some sort of math, either math 155 or 160. Um, I took Calc BC, AP Calculus BC in high school, and I uh, got out of, I think, both of those. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I didn't have to take a math class. I can't speak for how the math classes are here. Math is math. You gotta know it, right? Um, and then stats. You're gonna need stats. Uh, I don't know. I didn't take AP statistics in high school. You can save a lot of money by taking it at, at, at home over the summer at my local community college. I took a 200 level stats course and then I needed the 300 level because I needed 303. Stat 303. So then I took a one credit kicker last semester. Really easy, really nice. 
professor was awesome, really cool. I would recommend doing something like that if you're not a big stats person because taking like a lower level one at a community college then coming up here and taking a one credit one is nice then I just didn't want to have to use three of my credits that I'm paying for here to take a stats class. And then we have things called AUCCs. This doesn't really apply to zoology so I'm gonna leave that out. Those are basically your like uh, writing and humanities classes and uh, me being in the honors college I don't take these, I take what is called honor seminars, and I'll get into all that into another video. After that, you're gonna take 15 credits of upper level zoology, div upper level division courses. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of these courses. So this this is the part of zoology that I, I really liked um, that made me stray away from wildlife biology or something like that, is because you can get very specific in what you wanna study. I don't have to take molecular ecology or uh, paleontology if I want to study large mammals or, or help them in conservation or something like that. I can take animal behavior, animal behavior and conservation, mammalogy, zoophilia, zoophysiological ecology, physiological ecology of vertebrate, behavioral ecology, things like that. I just told you what I'm going to be taking. So then I'm also minoring in conservation biology and a lot of the courses in zoology cross over um, in the upper division in conservation biology so I'm basically like double dipping with the minor conservation biology and the major in zoology they kind of cross over in a few classes so I can get credit for both of them and I can talk more in another video about fish wildlife and conservation biology because that is a completely different field uh, like I said things do cross over but it is it is in the Warner College of Natural Resources I am in uh, the Natural Sciences College, I believe. Um, so completely different college, so they gotta be different, right? That is it for this video, but I hope I gave you guys some help. For any kid that's looking into the animal field and not really sure what it looks like to major in zoology at a big university known for its zoology program, that's what it looks like. So I will see you guys next week, and uh, subscribe.